also a little like we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Make it red burns come in here. If not, we'll go to 10 innings. Bottom of the ninth. 6-6 six, six <coughs> ball game. And a new pitcher for the Dodgers. Lefty Richard Reedy from Penn State. Now he's going to face the heart of this Redbirds lineup in Matt Caples, Ben Brazil, and Gavin Sheets. Three, four, and five. Well, this part of the lineup today has scored four of the six Redbirds runs. They have drawn four walks, and they have three singles, an RBI, and a stolen base. So no doubt, this is who you want up. But it is a lefty in Richard Reedy, and he's going to face two lefties this day, Ben Brazil and Gavin Sheets. The righty Matt Cable stands at the dish. All three of these guys have the capability to end the game with one swing of the bat. <clears throat> Cable's first pitch to him misses. Not sure where, but it does, and the count is 1-0. and oh. Reedy. No ERA. This is his third appearance of the year. But that one hits for a strike. Cables. Now on a 1-1 one -one count. Three innings pitched. One hit. Two runs, and neither were earned. He has struck out two, and he's walked two. 1-1 one -one pitch. Breaking ball. Check swing. And no, the appeal on the first base, James Bunnell, says Matt Caples did not go. He's in a 2-1 count. And tonight, Matt at the plate, one for three, with a run scored and a walk. 2-1 pitch. Fastball up and away. Three and one. Max will be very patient at the plate here. Experience hitter. Wait for one to drive. Three <coughs> one. Hits for a strike, and Mac knew it. Stayed right there. Readjust his helmet. And back in. Now in a full count against Reed. The slow windup and the 3 2 pitch. That one misses inside ball four. Same location as strike two. But that one. Misses inside, according to David Gabor. And the winning run is at first base. Matt Caples has his second walk of the night. The last time he walked, back in the first inning, and he came in to score. Ben Brazil now shows bunt. Tries to lay one down. It's off the top of the bat. And into the netting, an 0-1 count. Well, yesterday in the ninth inning, Ben had the opportunity to play hero. But instead, he hit into the game-ending 4-3 to three double play. A twin killing would be killer here. Get it? As that one misses upstairs, one and one. Third baseman, Dyer in. On the infield, turf, middle infield, and double <coughs> play depth. Brazil shows bunt. The 1-1 one, one fouled back into the backstop. Brazil cannot lay down the bunt. I understand trying to move Matt Cables into scoring position, but do you really want to take the bat out of Ben Brazil's hands? One of the better hitters in this Redbirds lineup. One, two pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out. That's out number one. Oh, Johnny was ready. <laughs> but that's what he gets to work with, with only one more strike to go. One out and Matt Cables <laughs> remains at first base. He <laughs> He knows it's the big one. Redbirds being out hit nine to that, six. That. <laughs> second baseman on second. But they are out the erroring the Dodgers 4-2. to two. This game mounted up at 6, though. Need one to win. First pitch to Gavin. Breaking ball. 
Misses low. Stevenson blocks it this time. Crunch time. Blocks it. That prevents Matt Cables from advancing past first base. Winning run out there. Gavin Sheets at the plate. 1 0. Fastball upstairs this time. You need to go in now. Third baseman Dyer. Still playing in front of the bag of third. He's a company man. And he's playing well off the line. <laughs> Outfield playing it, or playing in the pool. And the 2 0 misses up and away. 3 0. Oh. Your lefty lefty match here. Keep you, yeah, you rug head boys. Something that I feel like Gavin struggled with on the season thus far. Carpet top, we call him. And right now, Richard Reedy is pitching around Gavin. Johnny went out to the mound. Reedy from Penn State has a teammate on the Redbirds. And Talk to his pitcher. Dakota Forsyth, one of the Redbirds' better starters. Get this cracker out. <laughs> I believe he's slated to start tomorrow night at Brockville. Now once again, reading the stretch, the 3-0. Up and away, ball four. Well, now things are getting interesting. A couple of walks, and quickly the Dodgers' bullpen gets warm. Number 23, Tyler <coughs> Fellner from Salisbury, heads down to the pen. They want well, another base runner the on, first so this time runner's tonight, on first and second. Tie ball game. We'll see Logan Warman at the plate, replacing Martin Costas at the first pitch. In for a strike, 0-1. The only other walk-off hit the Redbirds have had this summer was from Martin Costas, who tonight went 0 for 4 with a run scored. I think there's only one out. 0-1 to Warmoth. Bounces. Gets past Stevenson. <sighs> the runners will advance. Cables to third. Gavin Sheets to second base. <coughs> I guess that wasn't well, now, a wild pitch. <laughs> this is an opportunity that the Redbirds need to cash in on. The winning run 90 feet away. Mm -hmm. By the way, Richard Greedy goes to Penn State Abington, a satellite campus of the Penn State main campus. 1-1 to Warmoth. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Left side. Here comes Cables. The throw. Ow! Out. Yeah! Is out at the plate. Johnny killed him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Matt Cables is out at the plate. You've been bashing my son all two. night. My son had put two crackers out. <laughs> the shortstop, Mendoza, got that it's one home Johnny in a it. hurry. He went. And Stevenson and held the ball the up like that. The catcher had a quite a long evening. <laughs> Gets the job done and blocks the plate. What? Are you damn Two cool. outs. Gavin Sheets at third. <laughs> Will Golson at the dish. Pop First pitch. Football. Up and in. One and oh. He said the last guy Johnny tagged out at home Warm was a mile away pitch. from home. <laughs> On the fielder's choice. Because he, he was coming in. Johnny just blocked the plate. He couldn't get past him. Will Golson looking to play hero here. One oh pitch. Fastball. That nearly gets past Stevenson. Nearly. Warmoth will take second it, base. <laughs> he was on top yeah, of the ball. So that takes the force away. He didn't get past. I'm second looking at base, the video. And the count is 2-0 and oh to Will yeah, Golson. Yeah, right. He's way the off the mark. Way offensive player of the week of June 7th. Just named it today. And his first at bat replacing Zach Gehenk. A base hit wins it. 2-0. Right down the middle, that one's a called strike, <coughs> two and one. So they get runners on. Well, Reedy has not allowed an earned run Second all year, in danger of doing so here in the ninth. Golson just Wait. fouled outside the bag at third. So now the count, even at two, two, two. and two. Comes set. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Fastball upstairs. And now the count goes full. Look like first base is open. 
so they can walk somebody. That's no big Exciting deal. Exciting inning. The Redbirds have two men aboard. In scoring position, Gavin sheets the winning run at third base. Oh, another one at third. Now the 3-2 pitch. Fastball. Swing and a miss. Right, but that one trailing and going foul. Oh, okay. He got a piece of that one. Golson has some fans on the edge of their seat. If need be, Nick Perkins is in the on-deck circle. Reedy comes set. 3-2 count. Pitch on the way. Low and inside ball. Oh! Here comes Gavin Sheets. The Redbirds win. Gavin Sheets crosses the plate. And that one Pretty much how the night has gone for the Dodgers. A wild pitch. Wins wild pitch. For the Redbirds. And they are now 4 and 0. Oh that was on the pitcher. That wasn't on Johnny. Following a loss. He was all. Uh, they improved to 13 and 4. The Dodgers down to 5 and 10. They are 7 games out of first place. The pitcher knew he the threw that one away. So he right just up walked up the field the with his hand down. Fantastic. He, um, Totals of but this they didn't blow him out. Once so. again, the Redbirds no? win. 7-6 oh. to six on a walk-off like wild pitch. Too bad. Too bad. I won't say it's okay. Too bad. There's six black boys on the team, period. And it's like 25, almost 25. I don't even think this is a team. He's trying to knock over his head down, is he? Yeah, he, he wants to hit all right. He's going to be No, I'm talking about for that wild pitch. Yeah, that's not uh, But that was a good game. <laughs> I mean, for them to actually ha got a chance to see one. Leaving the camera on in case they say something. Yeah, imagine your stuff. <laughs> Seems like those ants come out at at night. Where are you seeing now? No, I don't see them now overnight. I'm getting ready to go now. That's your mom taking away from you. I'm going to tell you. You might want to do it. Huh? Yeah. Well, fans, Harrison Swartz back with you. The Redbirds win this one 7-6. <coughs> Gavin Sheets comes in to score on the wild pitch from Richard Reedy, tonight's losing pitcher, who falls to 0 and 1 and allows his first earned run of the ball of the season. Austin Souter, the winning pitcher from Johns Hopkins, goes one inning on the mound. He got into a tough situation, allowed one hit, no runs came in on it. Hit a battery, <laughs> but got a 6-4-3 double play to end the top of the night. You got two singles. Okay, well, I want so he's the winning that. pitcher. Richard Reed, the loser. The Redbirds had seven runs on six hits, four <coughs> hits, and left ten men on base. The Dodgers, six runs, nine hits, two errors, and left nine men on base. Well, tonight the Redbirds' bullpen doesn't do fantastic, but they get the job done. The Redbirds now 13-4 on the season. At home, they are 7-3, and three, and against the North, they are 8 and two and they sit comfortably 
atop the north. And the T-Bolts are right behind them at three <coughs> and a half games back, but they are about to lose, and that would make them four <laughs> games back. They are down 2 nothing to the Giants in the top of the ninth. Rockville has taken a 2-1 lead over Bethesda in the bottom of the eighth, and in the second, the Braves and Aces are scoreless. Tomorrow, Dakota Forsyth on the mound for the Redbirds, as the Redbirds travel to Rockville, an 8 p.m. contest. Wednesday, back here at Carlo Crispino, a 6.30 start against the Giants. Thursday night on the road, we will be doing a broadcast that night. At Herndon at 7 o'clock, and then Friday against the T-Bulls, right back here <coughs> at 6.30. <coughs> Once again, final score, the Redbirds win 7-6. to six. And fans, don't forget to see pictures from tonight's ball game and even purchase them. Go to redbirdsbaseballmd.smugmug.com or follow them on Instagram at redbirdsbaseballmd. And fans, Towson Sports Medicine is recognized as having the best and largest orthopedic rehabilitation facilities in the Baltimore area. They offer comprehensive rehabilitation programs for orthopedic and sports-related injuries. For more information, call 410-337-8847 or visit them online <laughs> at TowsonSportsMedicine.com. Until Wednesday, Harrison Sports signing off. You have a fantastic rest of your Monday evening and tomorrow a lovely Tuesday. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. hey, that was, you know, what John, John's going to say. He's going to be like...